Hello to my very cool artist and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. I have on my very cool sunshades today because our project is going to be all about some magic sunglasses. We're going to work on a little artistic style called cartooning. It's where you draw very quickly using very simple lines and shapes and not too much detail because cartooning is done very quickly and it doesn't have a lot of detail in it. So they're very quick drawings. So we're going to do three drawings this week in the time frame that it would normally take us to do one drawing. And we're going to base our cartooning style on the illustrations from the book, Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. So this is why I have my sunglasses on today. And if you've read that book, you know that it is an awesome story with awesome artwork in it. But it's about Pete the Cat having a really downer day. He's just not in a good mood and he's a little bit grumpy. And his friend Grumpy Toad comes along with this magic pair of sunglasses. And when Pete puts them on, suddenly his day gets so much better. So he goes around to all his friends that are also having kind of a, a downer day and he loans them his sun, sunglasses and then they magically start having a great day. So we're going to draw three characters from the book, Pete the Cat and the Magic Sunglasses. And if I have you in the classroom, you've seen this. If not, I have posted this along with this lesson so you can watch the read-along book of Pete the Cat and the Magic Sunglasses. So make sure you do that because it's an awesome story. So the first drawing we're going to do is Pete the Cat wearing his magic sunglasses. The next one we're going to do is the character Grumpy Toad and his magic sunglasses. And then the third one is going to be the squirrel and wearing his magic sunglasses. There's other characters in this story, but these are the three that we're going to draw for this lesson. So here's what you need. You need at least three pieces of white paper, your pencil eraser, and your Sharpie, and then whatever you want to use to color it with. In the classroom, we used markers and crayons, so you can use both of them or either one your choice. So gather those three things up, friends. Meet me over in my studio and let's get started on our Pete the Cat and our magic sunglasses. Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. So this week's lesson is going to be a little cartooning done in the style of the artist who illustrates the books, Pete the Cat. We're going to focus on the book, Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. So we're going to draw a picture of Pete the Cat wearing his magic sunglasses. We're going to draw Grumpy Toad from that same story wearing the magic sunglasses. And the squirrel from that same story wearing the magic sunglasses. So you're going to need three pieces of white paper, your pencil, Sharpie, and whatever you want to use to color with. Now for these, I used a combination of marker and crayon. So you are free to use whatever you have uh, to color these with. So let's get your first white piece of paper. And the first one we're gonna draw is Pete the Cat. And we're gonna do this in the style of the illustrator for this book. Pete the Cat has two triangular shaped ears. His head is very angular. There is no mouth. That's just the style of that artist. And he's got whiskers that come out from the side. And usually in the books, we see Pete the Cat walking down a sidewalk. So we're going to have a sky, some grass, and a sidewalk in this picture. So make sure your paper is turned um, horizontal. Now, the most challenging part of this drawing is going to be the very first step. We have to draw the sunglasses right here. That will be step number one. And the challenge is to keep these sunglasses symmetrical, meaning the left side has to be the same size, same shape as the right side. So you want to keep them symmetrical. So right here in the middle of your paper, where my fingers are, you're going to draw your sunglasses. And we're going to start off by drawing two curved lines like that. You want them to be the same size and um, on the same uh, level right there. It's kind of like two frowns. Then we're going to come underneath and we're going to draw two 
smile shapes like this connecting them. So now it looks like you have two eyes, two footballs, or two lemons right there. Make sure they're the same size. You don't want one big and one small. You don't want one here and one up here. So make sure they are equal. If they are, the next step is to draw this little bridge right here. This is the bridge connecting the two. We're going to erase just a little bit right here where the, the lenses connect to the bridge. And then we're going to draw a parallel line inside these lenses. Now a parallel line is a line that runs side by side but does not touch. So we want our parallel line to match this line right here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side right here. So these are the lenses and these are the frames of your sunglasses. And then we're going to put a little rectangle right here on either end. Those are the hinges for our glasses. So now we have our sunglasses right in the middle of our paper and they are symmetrical so we are good to go. So now we're going to draw the top of Pete's head. So right up here, we're going to draw a slightly curved line. Not too curved, just slightly. That's going to be the top of Pete's head. And we're going to draw a triangle right here for the ear. And we're going to let that line come all the way down to right here. And we're going to do the same thing right over here, a triangle for this ear, and we're going to let that line come all the way down. Now you want your two ears to be the same because Pete's left ear and right ear are the same. So now we've got the top of Pete's head and his glasses. So now we need to draw Pete's, um, the, the bottom of his face. And remember, it's not gonna be rounded like we've done in our other kitty drawings. Pete's face is kind of angular. It's almost like a triangle right here. So we're gonna have two diagonal lines come down, but they're not going to touch, but they're gonna come down to right here in the middle. And to find the middle, you put your finger right here and come down just a little bit and you can draw an upside down triangle for Pete's nose. So right under the nose is where these two lines are going to come. So let's draw a diagonal line right there and a diagonal line right there. Remember, they don't touch. We're not drawing the triangle. But when we get to right here, right under the nose, we're going to draw two vertical lines going all the way down to the bottom of our paper. And that's going to be Pete's neck. Because if you notice in the book, Pete has a very long skinny neck. And then we're going to draw a few whiskers coming off the side right here. Because that's where the artist draws Pete's whiskers. Now it's time for the background. We're going to draw a horizon line right here. And of course we're not going to draw this line through Pete because if we did, we would just have to erase it. So I drew my horizon line, jumped over Pete, and continued my line. Now this is my sky, and this is gonna be my ground. Now for the sidewalk, we're gonna add a second horizontal line. Jump over Pete, we don't wanna draw it through Pete, and then continue right there off the edge of your paper. So this down here is gonna be my sidewalk. This is gonna be my green grass, this is going to be my blue sky. So if you look at this colored example right here, my sidewalk is here, which is where this is, then my green grass, then my blue sky. All right, to make this look like a sidewalk, when you walk down the sidewalk, our sidewalk has lines, but they're not close together. So to help keep the perspective straight, we're going to make our lines diagonal. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line right there, and then I'm going to jump way over here. And I'm going to draw a second diagonal line. And I'm going to jump way over here. And I'm going to draw a third diagonal line. And I'm going to jump right here. And I'm going to draw a fourth diagonal line. So you're going to have about four, maybe five diagonal lines right here. They are not going to be close together. So don't draw your lines too close together. And don't draw a lot of those lines. Now, friends, it is up to you. You decide what you want to put in the background. You can put a house back here, like you saw in the story. You can put trees. You can put a cloud. You can put whatever you want to put back here. Um, in my Pete the Cat, I put a cloud and I put a sun in the sky. But you're free to put whatever you want to put. But don't spend a lot of time on a lot of details. Just draw a couple of things. 
And then that is it for that drawing. I told you these were gonna go quick. Cartooning is super quick. So let's put this to the side. We'll come back and finish it later. We wanna get our drawings done first. Get your second white sheet out and we're gonna draw Grumpy Frog. Now, Grumpy Frog is interesting because here's his glasses, but his eyes are up here. So if you remember from the story, Grumpy Frog wears glasses, but he doesn't wear them on top of his eyes. It's just the way it is. So we're gonna draw Grumpy Frog. He's gonna have a horizon line. So down here will be your grass, and then you can choose some simple details to put in the background. I put two trees and a sun. Maybe you want a sun and some clouds. Whatever, it's your background. But remember, it's cartooning, so we're gonna keep our details small and, and easy. We don't want a lot of complicated details. All right, so to start the drawing of Grumpy Frog, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on Pete the Cat. We are gonna draw the sunglasses right here in the middle of our paper again. So let's draw these sunglasses again, just like we did Pete the Cat. And I'm gonna draw my two curved lines, and then I'm gonna connect it right here with my, my curved line that looks like a smile. I'm gonna make sure they are symmetrical, put my little bridge on, erase where my glasses connect to my bridge, like right there, and then do my parallel line right here inside. And then put my little rectangle right here on the end for my hinges. Now I have my glasses. Want to make sure, friends, that they are symmetrical, meaning equal on the left and right side. So if you need to pause the video to get your glasses right, make sure you do that. But if your glasses are symmetrical, we're now ready to move on to draw Grumpy Frog's or Grumpy Toad's eyes. So st starting right here, if you look at his eyes, it's kind of shaped like an M. So we're gonna draw the letter M first. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna come up and draw the two humps of our M. You wanna make sure these humps are the same because this is Grumpy Toad's eyes and you want them to be symmetrical. So we've got our letter M right here and we're gonna turn these into his eyes. So we're gonna continue this line around like this right here and draw an oval. And then I'm gonna continue this right here and draw an oval. And we want those two ovals to be the same. Now Grumpy Frog, or Grumpy Toad, I keep saying Grumpy Frog, but Grumpy Toad has eyelids right here. So we're gonna draw two lines across our ovals right here to give him his eyelids. And right under his eyelids, we're gonna draw half a circle. We're not gonna draw the whole circle, just half a circle, and then we're gonna put a little pupil right there. That's the, the black part of your eyes called the pupil. You'll color this part whatever color eyes you wanna give Grumpy Toad. So now we've got Grumpy Toad's eyes and his glasses. So now let's get his body. So let's draw his upper lip. So we're gonna come right here under these glasses. We're gonna draw a diagonal line and we're gonna turn and draw a line going back across like this. But I kinda made my line a little like a zigzag. Not too zigzaggy and not too curvy, just a little bit. This is Grumpy Toad's mouth. Now back here is gonna be Grumpy Toad's back. So we're gonna start a line right here at the bottom of these glasses and we're just gonna draw a curved line all the way down to the bottom of our paper like that and draw Grumpy Toad's um, stomach, we're gonna give him a bottom lip first, then his stomach. So right here, we're gonna curve it in to give him a lip, and then we're gonna draw our line all the way down to the bottom of the paper like that. So now there's Grumpy Toad's body, his lip, his mouth, and his top lip. So that is it for Grumpy Toad. So now let's give him a horizon line right here, and just a couple of details. He needs two little nostrils right here so he can breathe. And then he needs a couple of spots on him. You don't have to draw a lot of spots. And these spots are organic shaped, meaning they're all not gonna be the same. So you'll have some small ones. You might have a large one, a little small one right there. And then another one all the way down right here. You don't have to cover his whole body, just a few right there and that's it. 
And then, of course, you will decide what you want to put in the background. Sun, clouds, maybe trees and a sun, maybe trees and a cloud, whatever. Whatever simple details you want to put in the background. So that's all we're going to draw on Grumpy Toad for right now. So let's put that to the side and get your third piece of paper out. These are some quick drawings today, friends. So now we're gonna draw our squirrel. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did on Grumpy Toad and Pete the Cat. We're gonna draw these glasses first and then we'll draw his head and ears. His nose comes out a little pointy right here. And then this right here is the top of his tail. The rest of the squirrel's body is off the paper. I chose a tree for my background because we always see squirrels around a tree. But you can choose to put whatever you wanna put in the background as long as you keep it simple. So let's get our glasses drawn. So this is the third time we've drawn these glasses. So you'll probably discover that it's a little bit easier this time around. Um, the more you draw them, the easier it gets. So let's get your glasses drawn real quick. Drawing them the exact same way we drew them with Pete the Cat and Grumpy Toad. So there's the, the glasses for our squirrel. <clears throat> so now, Let's draw the top of our squirrel. So the top of our squirrel's head is gonna be curved. So we're gonna draw like an arc, almost like a rainbow right here. And the squirrel's ears are kind of oval shaped. So we're gonna put an ear right here and an ear right here. I'm gonna erase the line connecting the head of my squirrel to this ear right here. Cause he was looking to the side. So We'll, we won't see a line here, we will see a line right there. And now <clears throat> for his nose, his nose is gonna come out and come around almost in the shape of a triangle, but it's gonna be rounded, so it's not gonna be pointy or angular like a triangle. So we're gonna start right here under the hinge of his glasses, and we're gonna come out, and we're gonna come around, and then we're gonna come back in like this right here for his neck. So this is his nose, you will color that pink. Then we're gonna give him a mouth right here. And you can decide what kind of mouth you wanna give him. You can give him a smile like that, or you can turn his mouth up like that and give him a little little, little um, detail right there, whatever. And then right here, we're gonna draw, come down the back right there, and there is our squirrel. I'm gonna straighten up my line just a little bit right here. There we go. All right. Now, right here is where the tail is gonna go. So we're only gonna see the top of the squirrel's tail. So it'll come around and be bushy and come back down like that. And that is it, friends, for the squirrel. Then so whatever you wanna put in the background. So now you've got these three pencil drawings right here, Pete the Cat, Grumpy Toad, and the squirrel. So you're gonna take your Sharpie and you are going to Sharpie all of your pencil lines. Of course, go ahead and put your details in the background, ever how you whatever you want in the background, and then sharpie them, and then either use your markers or crayons to color. I colored my squirrel gray. I put some little lines right here on my with my sharpie on my tail, just to kind of give it the feeling of some some fur, some texture. I did green for my tree, brown for my tree trunk. There's my little squirrel hole and a nice blue sky. For Grumpy Toad, I did crayon and marker. I did uh, green grass, blue sky, and I chose a crayon so I could have some nice contrast in dark and color. And I did a, a sun in this style. So I've got red, orange, and yellow in my sun, a couple of trees. I used a lime green marker right here called Iguana, but then I used a green crayon to color my grumpy frog and I gave him some um, black eyes with my crayon and some blue green eyelids. And for Pete the cat, I did a blue because in the book, Pete the cat is blue. I did add a collar onto Pete and put his name. You can do that if you want to and if you have room, totally up to you. I did my sidewalk gray because this is concrete, my grass green and my sky blue and I put a sun up there. And I chose to make my glasses have a purple lens with a raspberry color frame. You, I did that in all three, but you can do these any color you want to. In the book, Pete's glasses have a blue lens, but it's your choice. 
So I hope you guys have fun with a little cartooning and some quick drawing. And I look forward to seeing your Pete the Cat and the Magic Sunglasses drawings. So until next time, friends, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.